larger than the average anatomically correct male. Uh -huh. So they have to work, get a uh -huh. little challenge, extra practice. Yeah, get that deep but, yeah. down. But if I'm teaching someplace where there's not a lot of sexual resources and I'm doing a class, they're just so excited and so happy. Now, I'm not going to teach that class to, say, you know, a group that has had that class a million times. Uh -huh. So I make sure that the class topic is suited for whatever audience, venue, um, population sector I'm teaching to. I mean, you have so many classes. So when you teach this class, yeah. so you, you have a, a cucumber, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I, want a, I, want, I want a class. I don't have any... D ha, ha, ha. Hello, Willie. <laughs> this is my toss cock. We cock, we, 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 we toss. Yeah, yeah, like up. a ring toss. Yeah, well, yeah, we have big cocks down there too, but we got ones with veins in and we got big cocks. We had a cock that was this big the other night. Yeah, it was a funny show on Monday, hilarious show. But So you teach people how to do a blowjob. Oh, yeah, yeah, and we'll blowjobs, hand jobs, but I also throw in how to convey enthusiasm. Uh -huh. auditory and visual cues of enthusiasm, how to feel confident in giving a mind-blowing orgasm to your partner, and, you know, regardless of however old you are, that you can be the amazing, oh, just lighting on fire sexual goddess. So you give yeah. them empowerment. Oh, yeah. So I ask And you also... Oh. an opportunity for the women to wake up the male sexuality. Because so often in a sex negative culture like ours, mm -hmm. we tend to think of male sexuality as being strictly the package. Uh -huh. And there's the whole rest of the male that we neglect. Uh -huh. And guys, unfortunately in this culture, you guys end up growing up with a sex negative message mm -hmm. and you end up eating just junk food of sex, not becoming sexual gourmets. So the women, I teach the women that you have an opportunity to turn your guys into, open them up to being a sexual gourmet. Uh huh. Yeah. And also, a lot of times when men get into their 50s and their 60s, they no longer have the ability to be as sexual as they used to be mm -hmm. because of physical things. And so, if it's not just centered around their cock, whole body. Their whole body. Yeah, whole I body. like that. So, how, if I was to be in your class and if I was to say, Okay, I, I want some advice on this. You know, I, 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 I don't mind giving him a blowjob, but I taste it and, and I can taste that little bit of cum that it, it's like, oh. I don't know how to get over that. Oh, well, let's see. We can change his diet and change his flavor. Woo! Change his flavor. Okay, if he's, okay, here's what makes his juice taste awful. Mm -hmm. Okay, if he's not hydrating enough, mm -hmm. okay, must hydrate, hydrate, we are mostly water. Mm -hmm. right? same, for, same for us, same for him. Must hydrate, because if he's not hydrated enough, honey, he's gonna be blowing cottage cheese. Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's one bad. Yeah. The other one, caffeine uh -huh. and alcohol, okay, that tends to dehydrate. Yeah. And <laughs> vitamin B. Will make it like bitter. Bitter, yeah. And what is it, taurine, taurine. So the ingredients of energy drinks. Make a boy wow. taste wow. awful. But what makes them taste better? Lots of agua. Uh huh. Pineapple juice. Uh huh. So pineapple juice really does work. And celery. 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 Within two three hours of <clears throat> potential ingestion. What about asparagus? Uh, asparagus is an on or off switch. It's yeah. a genetic. It's actually a genetic switch. Uh huh. You're either asparagus reactive or asparagus neutral. Really? So if somebody's pee smell changes with asparagus, they're asparagus reactive. So it'll also make them bitter. But if they're not affected with their pee, uh, asparagus doesn't affect their pee, it probably won't affect their juice either. Because it's like I'm talking to my personal sex therapist. <laughs> when I do eat asparagus, I can't stand the way I... My, yeah. my pea smells. Yeah, can't you, stand it. I don't eat. You're, I don't eat. You're asparagus reactive. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's oh it's horrible. Yeah. yeah, you're asparagus reactive. Wow. So, but pineapple is like. Mm -hmm. Does pineapple also affect women the same way? Women, different stuff. Uh -huh. With guys, you want to give them alkaline mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, with women, strawberries. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Now, with women, you also need to be careful of um, how much sugar you're ingesting mm -hmm. because you could end up tilting over more towards the easty side. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
This is very valuable information. Uh, I do hear that vegetarian boys taste better, but I am a meat eater, uh -huh. so I don't often court um, uh -huh. at all vegetarian boys and girls because uh -huh. I like to be able to, you know. Yeah, eat meat. Eat meat. Yeah. I like meat, sushi. So, I like but fish. I do hear that the vegetarian boys taste better. So, research. Research is really important. But um, I got I got to find my list of things. <laughs> She's gotten oh. me so excited. Oh, in another fun class. I, I, That's like what said, we're going to talk about. Any of the classes I like are the ones that the students are into. So it's got to be right for the crowd. But um, uh, one that I've been doing lately, and I want to be able to do this more, is called Bedroom Burlesque. Although I might change the title, because mm -hmm. some people think it's actually a burlesque class. Mm -hmm. It's actually a tongue-in-cheek title. I can't dance. Mm -hmm. I'm rhythm impaired. I am a dork on the dance floor, but I'm a shameless dork, so I go out and dance anyway. Yeah. So it's about how to take off anything and look good, feel confident, and how to get the most out of your horizontal boogie Mm -hmm. and maximize your sexual potential, but also make it hot in bed for those of us who can't dance. So you'd have people laying on mats? And well, all we start of off stuff? sitting. Okay. Okay, because there's actually... Okay. Uh, we're sitting. Yeah, we're sitting. Okay. okay. Let me just put this back here. Because, you know, there's uh, you can have the best outfit on, the gorgeous hair, makeup, and, you know, exotic lingerie, but you can be schlumpy or sexy, okay? D regardless of what you're wearing. Schlumpy. So I start by having everybody sitting schlumpy. And when I do this in London, I say, okay, you're sitting on the tube and you want to be as invisible as possible. Or here in LA on the bus. Right. <laughs> okay, we're schlumpy. See, schlumpy, bad. Okay? Schlumpy, bad. Whereas you can be in anything, just, mm -hmm. you know, your gym clothes and be sexy. Mm -hmm. And it's all about how you sit. Uh -huh. So I teach people to sit in, on front of the front edge of the chair, straighten out your spine, shoulders back, tits up. Yeah, good, good. And it's extra fun if you take the edge of the chair and bisect your hoo-hoo so you get a little extra pressure on your pussy. Okay. <laughs> right? And because I have short legs, I want to maximize my leg, legs, so I just kind of sit on, sit on like one butt cheek and ex kick out my leg. Uh -huh. So then schlumpy becomes sexy. Oh. So it's all in how you sit. So for yeah. the viewing audience, are we now sexy? And anything can be taken off in a sexy way, right? Uh huh. So glasses. Okay, yeah. I can just take my glasses off. Yeah. Which is not sexy. Yeah. Just practical. Or. I've just been turned down by Midori. <laughs> that, so, so I don't know if I could do that. Anything can be taken I don't, off. I don't. And it's just letting a drop down trace. Imagine. Oh. Yeah, and what I do is I okay. think of the. I'll do this hand for this. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think of the object as being a stand in for your lover. And it's tracing the lips. Okay, I gotta do this again because I'm not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Rev yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexy. See, Ooh. that's hot. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. totally <laughs> Okay, anything. And what I, what I teach the gals is it's all about if you're a good boy or a good girl, what's happening to my glasses could happen to you. Whoa. <laughs> I love that. That is so stim. And where, where can, okay, you teach, but where do you, you know, what we're going to do is when we come back, mm -hmm. we're going to have to take a break because, you know, commercials, you know, sponsors. But when we come back, what we're going to do is, is I want to talk about where you teach, sure. the countries you've been, because you've been all over the place. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to talk more about her classes. And, and so what we'll be back is you've been watching the Rev Mel Show. Is that a good? Is that a good one? Yes, very nice. Yeah. Oh, nice, Whoa. nice, nice. So <laughs> we're going to be talking more. Maybe we'll get a cock out here. And we'll just masturbate. We'll be right back. We've been watching the Rev Mel Show with my wonderful guest, Midori.